Hi everyone, I just wanted to do this quick video. Sorry, it's a little bit chaotic in the mobile. I don't even have my PC set up yet. So uh, as you can see, I've now got more chi more hair on my chin than I've got on the top of my head, um, purely because of the fact I've not even managed to find my shaver yet. Um, as you can see, the house is in absolute chaos, uh, but we are in and we are now living in this house, uh, which is quite mad considering the fact that some of the light switches aren't even on the walls yet. Um, but the reason that I'm making this video is to talk to you about Square. Um, I am invested in Square, but not within my standard portfolio. The reason for that is purely for the risk score basis. So I can't include another high risk stock in my portfolio, um, otherwise it's gonna just push my risk score too high. Um, so that's why I'm telling you about this now, but it's not in my main portfolio. So Square is a, the, the, the main reason that I want to, or the reason that I'm investing in Square is because I believe that it's very much a market disruptor. Uh, if you, Compare it to PayPal, for example, it's PayPal's its closest competitor. Um, PayPal very much focuses on online transactions. If you are an online only seller, PayPal is the perfect solution for your business. If, however, you are a brick and mortar store um, or you're a chain of stores and you also have an online platform, then Square is the best platform for you or best payment provider for you. And the reason that for me, I'm seeing this as such a big deal is because when you go to places like China, um, where they've not got the same systems already in place that we do, they are able to set out new systems that work better because they don't have that history like we do. So if you look at their payments, for example, um, things like Visa and, and MasterCard don't have the same kind of weight over there. You have a lot more people that are paying by mobile transactions through paying on QR codes. And that's not quite that popular here yet. You do, we do have it, you know, you can get, um, PayPal and Square both provide QR codes that people can scan uh, and move forward with. At the moment where we still have that legacy, pay, um, MasterCard and Visa, everyone's still very much like locked into that. And I think it's going to take a, a while for us to kind of move away from that. Obviously, we've got Apple Pay, which is probably the closest thing that to this kind of thing now. Um, but going forward, I really don't see Visa and MasterCard uh, performing quite as well as they have been historically uh, to the stage where I would even consider shorting the two companies. Now, that's not actually a recommendation because I'm not going to physically short either of those two companies at this stage, um, but my point being, over the long term, I don't think that they would be a good investment. So the reason that I think as well that Square is a um, market disruptor is because of the fact that they are constantly coming up with new products. They're constantly expanding on their existing portfolio and they're finding new ways of reaching new customers and also providing their existing customers with as many extra services as they can to really milk the customer for as much money as they can. Um, so if you look at, for example, the new Cash App, um, the fact that it's now integrated with Bitcoin, that you can buy cryptocurrencies on there, that you can trade, you can you can buy stocks on the, the app. They're really enticing people to start using the, the Cash App and if you think about the fact of how easy it would be that if you've got the cash app and you go into a store that uses Square as their selling software, then the transactional cost for Square, as an example, is going to be considerably less. 
So the more businesses that they've got using the Square software and the more customers that they've got overlapping is going to increase their profits. And it's going to mean that they'll be able to invest in more ways to encourage their customers to shop at their own stores as well. So they're constantly coming up with new ideas and new products. And that's what excites me. It's not necessarily to say that I think, for example, the Cash App is some huge innovation that's going to make the company billions of dollars. It probably will, but that's not it. It's not their existing products. It's the potential of what they will become. And the reason, like I say, the reason that I'm so focused on Square over PayPal is because of the fact that PayPal is it's. It's a great tool for modern progressive companies um, for getting online, for selling online, and PayPal will do very well in the future. But it's definitely not an innovator in the same respect. Um, maybe if Elon Musk was still heading up PayPal, maybe maybe they would. Um, but like I say, I think, I think PayPal is going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to do very well. And they will probably even ride off the coattails of Square in some regards. Um, and like I say, I, I see Square being um, as big as some of the major banks because I think that they will continue to bring out new products. They will continue to innovate and they will continue to expand their lineup. So, yeah, there's that. Um, the Square do have their earnings coming out in about an hour and 45 minutes from when I'm filming this. So I don't know if, if uh, this will come out before or after earnings. There's probably going to be some volatility um, both tonight and over the next couple of days with the earnings coming out, regardless of whether the earnings come out good, or like whether they miss expectations or whether they beat expectations. That's not necessarily going to matter to me at this stage, because as far as I'm concerned, unless there is some really red flag coming out of this earnings report, it's it's kind of just a confirmation of exactly where they are at this stage. So there we go. Um, I think that's it. I can't really think of anything else. Um, obviously, those of you that do know, I've got the Facebook group. Um, so if you're not already a part, come over, join the Facebook group. Um, I will try and point a link at some point in the description. Um, if if you are interested, it's uh, Global Stock Market Investors on Facebook. Um, have a search for it. Uh, I also have a premium group. Um, so those of you that are not on eToro that may want to copy my trades, you can join the premium group and that's a different portfolio. It's not actually my main portfolio that you will see on eToro. Um, I think that's it for everything. So uh, hopefully my next video will be set up with proper camera and proper lighting um, and hopefully a little bit less face fuzz. See you soon.